icons. And we also go to view, you image. This is just material, black material. So I just go for webcam. So I need to convert that. So some of the images, so right click, open with paint. Normal paint, not 3D paint. Okay, so file save as and just save it as JP. Okay, so now open that over here and just start using this. In the background, so I just need to scale this uh, image to match that one. Till what size you can just see it, it's fine. Okay, so this and all we can just do it later, but just to get the idea of the scale of that, how much it is required. Now I can just have this. So start by adding some kind of cube. Just scale that. Just okay. Scale it. We have it. Okay, so how we just want to adjust the rotation of that and first you just try to scale that over here, try to match this view. And press D, V, okay. press D and adjust the pivot point of this over here to this point and then you start rotating that. Press R, let's scale it. to the size of that. Okay, so press R now. Let's scale. Okay, so once this is done, uh, now we can just start creating the shape of that. So if you want to have this round shape over here, just fix that over here. Just start fixing it. Okay. okay, so whatever these positions are there, uh, so we can now, once we have done with this, I just want to make sure that I can just place it over here. Okay, so if you want to adjust the position of this, press W on your keyboard, left click, and you have different access. So if you want to component mode, I can change into component mode, left, world, left click. Uh, so press W, left click, and you can change it to object, component, or a world. Okay, so these are the different options which you can do it. So I'm inside this component mode, so it is in this way. Okay, so now we have this option. So let's select and just start modeling this object. Okay, so how this shape is there, so it is going inside and how it is over here. So it is nice and rounded. Uh, this part and here it is different mesh. So it is flat over here and this side it is nice and rounded. So curve shape for this. So for that you can just do some kind of bevel over here. So we have this option. So if you want to make it curve or something. So let's go to this vertex now. I just want to make it little white. Okay, so now select this edges. Double click. Double click on this. Double click over here. So if you want the curve shape over there, so much rounded shape, you can just have this shift right click, bevel edge. So when I do that, I'll get this nice uh, curve and rounded shape. So how many segments you want, you can just increase the number of segments over here and the fraction. So fraction which you can change it and increase the number of segments for this. So I felt this will be fine. Object. Which one? Chamfer will get in uh, this thing, uh, vertex. Here it is called bevel. Uh, we can do the chamfer with the table. You can just select that and you have this bevel option over here, bevel it. You don't have the chamfer vertex. Okay, so if I just see what all the tools are required for that, you can just see now. And start adding a lot of segments uh, over here. So if you want to add some segments, so this is the top part which is extruding from this out. So if you just want to extrude from the same uh, shape, okay, so I can just extrude this part from this top. 
so let's add some segment over here go for this and let's have okay so to add some segment shift right click insert edge loop tool and then start adding one segment over here this is what we can add some segment so i can extrude this part out from this point right so you can just select the face now and isolate this control space bar and here we can just isolate so click on this isolate so you can just work only on this part of the model and select this face shift right click extrude face and then pull this out okay so this is how you can just have this segment now if you just want to push it inside and we have it okay so we need to have some more number of segments over here uh, to get that curve shape for this so we can add some segment for this so go to object mode shift right click insert edge loop tool and i can just start adding so when you try to add insert edge loop tool in this case it is not uh, coming full the loop is not coming full for this because uh, there are some of the segment it is not quad over here so if there is no quad it will not loop it so you need to make sure that first you connect this so go to vertex select this vertex another vertex shift right click connect component or multi cut tool is also there so we can just use uh, this connect g is a shortcut to repeat the same for you so I can just see that I have uh, done the connection of that over here. Now any of this loop, uh, this is open over here. So if you want to connect it, you can also still connect that. So shift right click, insert edge loop tool, now you can see this. Okay, so go to the shading and here you can just see that wireframe on shaded. So when you are uh, working on this, so you can see this where that has to be added the segments. Now in this place, so shift right click. Insert edge loop tool, just start adding that over here. So because we need to connect this uh, vertex over here. So select this prism, shift right click, connect this also, G, here also. See that. So all the place uh, you need to make sure that you do the connection for that G, for here, for this to this, press G. And from here to here. Okay, so go to multi cut tool this time. You can also use this. Okay, so click on this. So this is also one more tool, and right click, right click to finish that uh, edge here. So click on this edge, start connecting, and click it over here. Right click. So this is what we did. There is any of this uh, segments which you can see it now, so you can just see these two edges you want to straighten, so press R and you can just scale that. That's fine. This if you want to make it straight, select it. Press R, accept this, press R, just want to scale it, so you can just scale that straight. This also. Just press R, just want to scale that. That's fine. Okay, so you need to add more number of uh, segments over here to get the curve shape over here. So if you want to add more segments, so add insert edge loop tool, add that loops over here, and then you start or moving this edge. So I can just select this edge and just make this curve. Okay, so uh, how much you want that? So just start adding that segment. Just start adding here, here also, and then you start pulling this edge as well. You start pulling this, so uh, one by one. So you can just delete the half part and work only on the half part. Uh, and I can just mirror that also. So you just select this one. So according to the component, is according to the component mode, and we can just start working in the this. <coughs> Just work on this also. Okay, so if you want to work only on the half part, half part I have done, I just want to make this half part over here. 
you can always go over here on this and delete this part so go to edge vertex straighten that out and press w world and keep it over here and delete this face as well so once you delete uh, you can just have that uh, half part of it and then you want to add something you can just start working on this so now sometimes you need to adjust this vertex properly so you can just select this and we also have one more option so when you want to adjust the vertex press w and here we can just see that the component uh, also option is there so you can just click on this component and then start adjusting according to that axis so if you just feel that it has to be adjusted and just move this along that so it is going to move along that axis for that object so just start adjusting pushing it down okay so press w and object world mode so if you feel that world mode it has to be adjusted start adjusting Okay, so like this we have the object now, so if you just try to do it while modeling that, so you can just rotate, press J, rotate this in a straight, so you can just have that out. Okay, uh, so most of the time what we do uh, normally while modeling it, so if you try to model according to this thing, uh, you can always try rotating this and try to model this way don't try to model according to this otherwise the axis of that will change so what I showed now uh, this way if I am modeling what will happen is the axis of that will change and sometimes it is difficult to model using this so if I just make this uh, straight so this and just move it out and if I am just adjusting this to a straight direction it is quite easy and modeling will be much faster uh, so when you do like this okay so it is much easy and it will quickly we can just do that the same piece it is quite easy when I do using this so if I just do the scale of it go to the vertex just scale this move it up scale it like this move it up over here so you don't have to spend a lot of time in modeling just by changing the reference it is quite so it is in a straight uh, direction and we don't have to work much so select this make it wide this one this one like this okay so keep it in the center of this grid now so once it is in the center of that and then you can just have start modeling it so this way now go to the edge or add some segment here insert edge loop tool just extrude this out extrude face uh, bring this out and uh, here also so this is one more way so if I just go to the edge now you want to do bevel shift right click bevel edge so you get that arc and fraction it segment and how much you want to adjust this so this way okay so this way also it is like quite easy so whatever this segments are there now and just start adding and connecting the segments to this so add some segment inside edge loop tool so how many segments are required here one here one this one and this one. and then you start connecting that uh, loops over there so whatever the segments are there so go to vertex Control shift right click so two of this right so you can just uh, go for connect G select this and this press G quickly uh, we have this option so just press G again select this G so G is a shortcut to repeat the same tool so whatever the last tool I have used uh, I can just press G on my keyboard and I can use that tool over here inside okay so here everything is looped and now you just need to adjust this uh, bevel over here so you can just select this edge now select this edge now shift right click bevel edge 
So fraction you can increase little bit out here and you can just see that. So segments if you want one or two, you can just add that segment there. Okay, so whatever extra segment you feel that this is extra, so I can just select this and control and delete. So when I'm just smoothing that out, it will be fine out. Now again, you need to connect all this. So go to multi cut, start connecting from here. Just start. And connect it out. And right click to connect that and delete it. Okay, so when you press 3 on your keyboard, so if I just press 3, this is how it will be, uh, so it is not a proper shape. So you need to start adding the segments for this. So press 1 and where you need to add the loop. So shift right click, insert edge loop tool on this part. Here also you need to add the loop. So uh, inside also. So if you want to add some uh, inside edge loop tool, you can just add it. Uh, so for this loop, right. Uh, what will happen if I just add one loop over here? So if I just select this, shift right click, insert edge loop tool and if I just try to add it over here. So you will have some problem or issue uh, in this edge. So if I just press 3, second. Okay. So to make this proper, uh, you need to have some loop here as well. This part also. So you can just shift right click, insert edge loop tool and if I add it over here. Just press 3 and you have that loop. And here also, shift right click, insert edge loop tool to get that shape over here. And press 1. Okay, so now we can just see that uh, here uh, you might see some of the issues in this particular place or uh, when you add that. So when I press 3 on my keyboard, so it will have some issue. Uh, this kind of hard edges you will find it over here. So you can just see this. This is the issue in this particular place. Uh, when the uh, edges are closed, so if I just press 1. Uh, since the loop is continuing till the end, uh, we have that issue. So if I just select this edge, control delete. And if I just select this edge, control and delete. So sometimes what we can do is we can also uh, add the loop over here. So use multi cut tool uh, to add some kind of loop in this uh, closer surface. So if I just go to shift right click multi cut tool we can also use this in this place. Over here right click and I can connect from here to here right click and I am just adding extra loop to that particular place. So I just start adding. Okay, so you can add the loops like this to continue that uh, downward over here. So if I just want to press 3 now, so you can just start adding some loops there also. Okay, so press 1. I can continue this loop down. So I can just continue till here, this place also. Okay, so depending on that or you want to just do bevel edge for this, that is also uh, will be fine. So if I just select all these edges, select. Select this one, double click, shift and double click all these edges over here. So once this is done, if you feel that it has to be added some kind of bevel in this corner, so shift right click bevel it and uh, we can just try adding how many uh, segments for that. It is taking only that. Okay. So that one more option is there. So if you want to give bevel for that, you can add some kind of bevel also. So for this, I can remove all these edges. Control delete. Double click on this. Control delete. And then you start adding the bevel for this. So shift double click. Shift double click. Shift double click. And shift right click bevel edge. Okay, so how much uh, we want to add for that? Uh, fraction is over here, so you can increase the fraction amount over here and number of segments for this. Okay, so or one more technique. So instead of adding the loop, uh, what we can do is we have something called crease. Option is also there. So if you want to make some edge very sharp, so if I just select this edge, let's select this edge. 
and press 3 and shift right click and here we can just see that we will have also one more option called trees uh, it is there yeah. no sorry trees tool so hold middle mouse button and we can crease that so even this is one tool uh, which you can use it to sharpen any of the edges so any of the edges you select over here like this and just select all these edges so you want to make it sharp shift right click and you can just crease that select all these edges shift and right click and this one you want to crease so it will make that edge sharp over here so any of these edges you want to see that so here i think there is some issue uh, this with this press one and there is some of the segments which are uh, open over here so if i just see that once i delete that once i press three you can see this extra edge so control delete it will do so if i just select this over here double click on this control delete and we will have that extra edge removed see again you need to make this shift right click these two right. okay so instead of adding extra segments if you want to crease also uh, we can also do the crease so select all these edges so here like this and shift right click crease to crease that press 3 and any one thing is not done you can just start using that also okay so go to shading and you can just switch off this uh, wireframe on shaded and you can have this okay this is low poly and with the crease we can just see it all. okay so any of this thing suppose if you are seeing some kind of this black edges over there so we can just start one loop so if i just add one loop over there it will solve that uh, problem of that black edges this is done okay so now we have this object which is over here now select this and uh, from this only we can just see that there is one more uh, thing which is having coming out from this surface okay so to add that uh, we can just add from here itself so let's add that object so take some different reference also so assign material existing material so just use the same blend which you have it okay so i just assign the material for that and wherever suppose if you want to make this little more uh, curve shape over here so let's make this a little more nice curve shape this place and make it fixed time so uh, here you can just see there is some kind of uh, issues over here so that is because of the normals so we can just select this and just add one extrude inside it so i have some loop which goes inside this so let's select this shift right click extrude face and we have this a little scale and that will be done so here also so here also if you feel that something is to be added so just select that faces since there are no segment over here uh, it will be like that so i can just select all these faces and just extrude once shift right click extrude and we can just see some of this details of that faces which you have it over here and you can just add so some segment might need to be added but this is fine i don't want to touch that part okay so this is done now what is this part for the handle let's see this reference of us so this part uh, so this will extrude from this and this is coming from that place and this is what we need to model so again uh, what you can do is again you can just use some kind of cylinder if you want to do uh, you can use some kind of cylinder and then i can attach to that uh, surface over here so there will be some gap in between so let's see so press 1 and here 
Okay, so some of the place if you feel that here uh, from this point it has to come out, right? So uh, you can just add some loop even in this place. So you can just start adding some loop here as well. Just add one loop here. Just add one loop here. Just to add more details, uh, we are just adding some of the loops in this place. So if you want to add some loop here as well. Now we got this. Okay. So from this point, it, it has to be extruded. So but make sure that everything looks nice and curved uh, from this top view also. So anything you are adding, so just make that curves nice and smooth. This little out, this two. Just select this two and then start adjusting it to make it more nice curve shape. Okay, so now from this point only it has to extrude it out, uh, any of this uh, surface, right? So you can just select this face now. Now you can just extrude from here. This two face, it will just start to extrude it out. So shift the extrude face, press W, move this up. So how much thick you want, uh, you can always add that. Thickness for this. So, if you want to make this straight first and then you want to extrude, so select this object, press R, scale it, and then you can slide it over here. This two, press R, scale it. I just want very straight uh, lines over there. So just make that. Okay, so I'm just adjusting the thickness of that and then you can just start pulling from this itself. So first thing you just uh, create an extrude over here. So extrude. Which one? Which one? The part which is extruding. No, there are two things. And there is one more thing which is connected over here. In this. So mic, uh, this mic will be connected to this uh, thing over here. Okay, so there are two things which how how wide that is, so that is what we need to see in the reference also. So we we'll just uh, open that over here. So there are two options. So here there is one thing, uh, the camera is connected to that, and other side is also there is one more thing. The, the whole thing is in the center of the right? Huh. Not in the side. So that you adjust that over here. So if you just want yeah, to. Yeah, it from the side, not from the center. Because there is some gap there, no? How will you fix this part? There is some gap also there, which you have to connect that. So it will be little uh, this side. And I'll delete this part and I'll just use that for connecting it over here. So now I just extrude, face, pull it up. And this you want to make it rounded. So uh, you can just adjust by bevel. So select this two edges. Select this one, I'll move this down. I just want to adjust this using the bevel. So shift right click, bevel edge. And how much you want to adjust the segments of that? Fraction of this, you can add. So either you do that or uh, I just select this edges, shift right click, bevel edge, and you have it. So how much you want more segments? Now we need to connect uh, this loops over here. So shift right click, multi cut, connect from here to this point. Select this. So here connect to this. And I'll just add one more loop over here. So shift right click, insert edge loop tool. Let's start adding one more loop over here. So we need to see that how, how this object is there. So let's see this side view of that. Yeah. So it is more curve over here and inside this you can just see that there is some hole. Uh, so we need to add that segments over here. So go to this now. And one more segment I'll just add it over here. Now it is fine. Okay, so now select this faces. This face also you select and shift right click 
extrude face uh, let's scale it down now so select this and scale it down for adding that curve shape over here and now shift right click and you have this circularized component so that you can use it to bring that down over here so that one thing which you can add is adjust it over here so uh, just make this little more down so there is some extra edge loop which has come so select this edge and bring this down select this edge and bring it down ok so there are different ways uh, which you can circularize so you can select the whole pieces and do the circularized component uh, or let's go to the side view uh, let's make this more proper curve shape like this let's select this one let's it over here and this is this looks fine for it ok so select this edge and bring it more down and we have this more circle so uh, we can just select this faces now and if you want to circularize the component or you can also go to the vertex so select this vertex this both the vertex shift right click chamfer vertex so when you do the chamfer uh, it will give the width of this so how much you want to use that we can just use it for adding the chamfer and now you can just start adding the points to it so you can just go to the multi cut tool and you can just start connecting that over here just start connecting from here to here from here to this point from here to this point and then you can just select the face and circularize it ok so uh, it will give that kind of uh, circular shape over here so again here also let's start adding multi cut cut from here to here here to here right click and from this place to this place and select the face now circularize component ok so both the faces what you can do is if you just want to uh, delete that over here you can delete and check the scale of that ok so how we have this now we can add a bridge also so if you want to bridge between this so shift right click bridge faces uh, any of these faces you can just select just right click bridge faces and it will do that so instead of deleting and then correcting we already have the segments for here and we just start adding some kind of bevel for this so double click double click on this and shift right click bevel edge and some segment you want to add for this that's how it will do in this particular place ok so uh, wherever this you need hard edges right so you can just start adding some uh, loops over there so in this place you want uh, some kind of hard edges so you can just start adjusting even this if you want to do bevel uh, for this surface also I just give the crease for this so this part I want little hard edge right so double click double click on this so press 3 now shift right click and you have crease tool just crease that so I just want that to be little sharp so this part so I think some of this place uh, I need to adjust this also Let's select this edge shift right click crease and then try adding this ok so now delete this half part and you can just mirror this so I don't have to work again so delete this whole half part delete this uh, make sure that it is properly aligned all this vertex so press R and X is a shortcut to snap to the grid so if you want to snap to the grid lines uh, X is a shortcut now just duplicate that so let's have this and go to this tools we have different options mesh mirror so which is the axis you need to choose so this is X axis so apply and 
go to this option channel box so here so here you have different attributes for that so you can just click on minus so it was plus before once i click into minus we have this object now we have this got it now from this this should be rotated now so i just want to rotate this background so match it over here and this is what it will happen in that place now if you just try to adjust that over here rotate this is what it will fix this w so any part you feel that it is big or something and just start adjusting this uh, vertex now this is fine okay so now we have this is the shape let's and isolate it over here and we have this and this also i need to rotate it up then it will match and from here there will be one thing which will be connecting in this place okay so that's what you need to do again from this place okay so any kind of cut you want to add it uh, i can just do boolean also for that and here also so there is something which is connecting this two surface so let's add one spherical object and this is what i need to adjust the shape now for that okay so let's add one more uh, part over here uh, which will be connecting this two and from this also there is one more part which is connecting over here so that is what all these things uh, we need to check it over here so i'm modeling this okay, so now you can just see this so if you just want to group it select all these objects control g so once i press control g it will group that object into one and press d make the pivot point of this over here so i can rotate that in that direction and just keep it over here so just fix it suppose at this place so anything you want to scale or match that place you can just start adjusting that so we have this object now okay so each part will be modeling uh, from this particular places so for the bolt also or uh, this also we can just model it so let's model from this part so if you want to select the group uh, we can just select from the outline like this and just name it so this is cam main body underscore grp so if it is a group name it as grp if it is a mesh name it as geo so this is like top cam underscore geo so that naming convention you do it this is back part cam underscore g for what fair yeah it's better if you make it cap so all this so geometry it will be or name also so this lens underscore geo so whatever is geometry name it as geo whatever is group name it as grp so it will be much uh, easy when you are doing that and this is the back support so name it as can back upper underscore g so name everything in a proper place and we have i don't need this and just delete and save the file and just start working on this next part of it okay now from here uh, if you just want to bring something out from the same place over here so if you just want to model it you can just still model it so whatever the group is there uh, we can just select the group and while modeling you can just make sure that it is in a proper rotation state like this so mesh i don't have to worry about this now we can just start modeling it over here okay so from this point what you want is uh, two segments needs to be added over here and that will be connected and that also should be like some kind of cubical form 
over here. So let's add some segment. So insert edge loop to let's add one loop here. Little gap. One more loop over here. So this time what I'll do is I'll just uh, isolate this two object first. Isolate. Okay, so this is the place uh, which you can uh, pull this out, right? So uh, we can just have this two faces. I can just delete this two face from this point. And I can just use one cylindrical shape now. So just bring some cylinder. Go to this. Here. Press E, J. Rotate like this. Scale it down. We know this is what it has to be connected or there. And select this two and end isolate. So we have this. So we got the cylindrical part now. So uh, here also what you can do is you can just start. Uh, you need to push that inside it. So I'll just select this faces. And we need to connect this face to this, this edges over here. So we can just start deleting this half part over here. So if you just see, select this and delete this half part. And where you need to connect now this loop. So you need to combine both these objects from here. And we can just start connecting to that. So go to mesh and combine it. And now if you want to boolean this uh, or connect this to this, you can just select this to edge and bridge it so you will have that round shape for that so however that shape is there so if you want uh, to scale this down and then uh, let's scale this down so press r let's scale it down to the shape of this so if it is to be straight line and then you want to connect that so now you can just start connecting with it this line also you can connect with this Shift right click bridge. You can connect this to this G. Now this line with this line G and this with this. So we got this shape uh, over here. Now we can just have this. Okay, so whatever the triangles are there, if you want to avoid that, you know, we now assign the same material, assign existing. Bling. So now we got this shape, press 3. Okay, so when I press 3, this is what we will get uh, this problem. So press 1. And now I can just select all these pieces and just extrude it once and insert it once inside it. Okay, so select all this now. Now select even these pieces. So whatever the tries are there, that also you can just solve it. So just shift right click, extrude face and just scale this down a little bit. Just to add that, uh, press 3 now, so you don't have that issue here. Now this is the problem here, so you need to avoid this problem, you need to add some segments near to that. So insert edge loop tool, add some segments over here, so some segments here. So more closer segments I add, so if I just press 5, 3, so I will not have that uh, problem in this place. Okay, so closer segments, so on the top if you feel that something has to be a mood, so if I just press 1, so if you feel that these lines are which much closer, uh, or I can also cut half, I will just delete this, delete this. Now we can also add the segments like this. So go to this now, shift right click, multi cut tool. Let's start adding the segments over here. Like this. So just go to that uh, wherever you are finding this price. Now you're getting this triangles over here. So uh, how we can just solve this kind of triangle, so select this, shift right click, collapse. So when I collapse that, that problem is solved. So again select this edge, G. 
again select this one press G collapse will uh, collapse that edge so if I just go to collapse collapse edge and now we have this nice tight segment which is near by this so it is not going up now the loop so we will not have the issues so press 3 and uh, we can just see that we can just solve that options whatever the problems in this place only so if you feel that it has to be little smooth so we have to just select this edge and just move towards right press 3 and then you see that it will be nice and smooth only. so select this edge again press 1 little offset press 3 and that is what it is however the uh, edge you feel that it has to be added you can add that loops over there and again so end isolate and we have this it will be okay Okay, so something which will be connecting between this, so I need to add that as well. Okay, uh, so here this has to be little down. Some kind of screw uh, which will be connecting over here, right? So that I need to make that screw also and fix that also. So go to this top view. Now, if you want to adjust it over here, so anytime you just feel that it has to be adjusted, scale, press R, scale it to match the same shape or yes so scale this to match that whole size and then we go for this Start. okay so that will be there which will be connecting now we just need to have the screw uh, model which is over here so that will be going inside that so let's start modeling that okay so this part anyway it is not opening so i'll just uh, keep it like this and add some kind of screw now so to model this kind of screws okay so this is different over here okay so it is having the hole in this place and uh, it is flat surface so you can just start with some kind of spherical shape i can just start with spear or uh, you can use let's use this let's go to create that if i just start with the plane go with this plane press r okay so first we'll create the center part of it and then i can just make it circular shape for that so we have this now press one so number of segments you reduce so let's make it around two by two okay so let's start adding this Shift right click, bevel edge, and this is too much. So make like this. So this is what we need to make this first over here. Now select all this. I just want to make it little smaller size. And now select all this uh, segment over here. So go to the vertex. Shift right click, and if I just make it uh, over here, circularize vertex. So it will try to make that a nice uh, circular shape of that. So before doing that circularize, what we can do is we can just extrude this out first. Shift right click, extrude it, press R and scale it. And then uh, go for this circularize component. So you get that. Okay. And this is what I just need to scale it now. So go for this scale. Press R, let's scale it down. Okay, so this is the thing which will be extruding uh, inside, right? So just select this edge, faces, and extrude it, extrude it inside. And now I'll be just using this whole edge, uh, extrude edge, uh, bring it down. Again, press G, R, scale it. Again, press G, W. Suppose this is what we have it over. Okay, so here if you want more segments, we can add it. Uh, this is how we'll have this. So let's close this edge. Shift right click, fill all. So just try to fill this object and let's start adding the segments over here. So insert edge loop tool. Now multiple edges, you want more edges over here. Just start adding more edges. 
so that if you want to push inside or outside whatever shape you want to add it so if you have this press 3 this shape okay press uh, 1 and wherever the loop needs to be added so it should be sharp at the loop source so again make sure that you reset the tool and shift right click go to object mode shift right click insert edge loop tool start adding it on it I want to add here just in this point this point you can use the crease also but I just want to use this for this you can use some kind of crease and add some loop uh, inside here also so just want to have that tight edge in this place so press 3 and yeah. okay so now if you want this to be sharp uh, shape we can always use that crease tool So just select everything out here facts. and all these edges also uh, because the base also you want it to make it sharp. So all these segments which you need to select it. So wherever you want the sharp, if you want this also to be sharp, let's start selecting that. And I'll just use the crease uh, to make it sharp. So I've done the selection of this shift right click and we have this uh, tool crease tool and just start making this is it I missed one which one okay this one yeah this one yeah. so shift this also so just check uh, I think yeah this also yes you change yeah. everything? Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah. So we just see that how much we can get as out here. Okay. How much we can add that uh, loop out here. So if you feel that this is fine, just make that object mode and yeah. okay. So press one, this will be like this. I think this edge is not selected. So crease, crease two, and press three. Select this also. So how much? Uh, even this, anytime you feel that it has to be adjusted, come back and just start. On. This also. So hold middle mouse button and then you can just try and give that one. So this is fine. This is what I need to place it there. So press E, G, and rotate it. So where you need to add that shape? So let's fix that. Snap. Uh, J is for snapping the rotation. So when I'm just rotating, press R now. Scale it down. Fix that over here. We have to hold it or like Which one? The yes. We have to hold it by rotation or just something like that. Just hold it, hold it. Uh, you have to hold it. Okay, so now we have this uh, shape. So same thing you'll be duplicating on the other side. Control D. Uh, move it over here and scale. This is X axis. So type it minus. So sometimes which is this axis so if I go to modify please transformation and which is this axis so minus one so I can just do like this and again freeze this so go to modify freeze transformation so one more thing you have to do it well uh, once you finish that model so select everything go to modify freeze transformation so every value should be uh, zero or that Okay, so something is happening. Okay, so all the values should be zero. And uh, you need to delete the history of that, all the things. So select everything, edit, delete all by type history. So it will be clean uh, geometry. So when you are doing that, so save this file. And you should not have any kind of details. I don't need this, I'll delete that.
you can just see that so other part also will be just doing uh, in the same way so i just done this as well so some different material so right click assign new material and we have different material so for now i'll just give just a plain uh, kind of blink so later we'll be just working on this how it should look so just for now just give some different material for that it's fine little more dark material attribute looks little dark and that's fine for now it's fine okay so we'll be doing this other part also uh, this also so one by one we can just finish and then we'll just work on material uh, we'll work on the lighting part of it and we'll give the camera moment for this product okay so uh, we'll just make some kind of product animation uh, using this so if you want let's say that and any kind of text has to be added so we'll just see how we can add this kind of text and there is lot of details so either i can give this details inside the texture this details if you want to give inside the texture i can give that only or modeling only you want to do uh, you need to create that using modeling so you can boolean it and all this okay so we'll see that how we can just add that details uh, okay so any doubts in this